Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we are going to learn about onion skin animation option in Adobe Animate software. As you can see here, I am into my scene 1 where I am going to create this particular animation and the size for this particular scene will be standard. And below as you can see we have layer 1 option where I am going to create my background. So in order for a better understanding let me rename it as BG which is nothing but a background. And here as you can see I am going for my fluid brush option and I am going to pick green color under the colors. So this is how your fluid option is going to work and if you want a straight line you can hold on to shift icon and draw a straight line. So now let me create a straight line with the help of holding shift in order to create a base for my animation. As for the lines which is outside my scene, I am just going to delete it with the help of selection tool. You can highlight it like this and just give an option delete. So in the same background, I am going to create some kind of rectangle boxes in between. For that, I am going for my rectangle tool under tools option and as for the color, I am choosing red. So now as you can see, I am just going to create some types of rectangle with different options, size, figures and dimension. And also towards the right side, you can see properties option. If you want, you can resize it again. So as of now we are done with the background, I am going to give another layer and as for the new layer I am going to create a ball. So I am renaming it as ball over there and from the shape icon which comes under tools option I am going for oval tool. So same as oval tool it will come in oval shape and if you wanted to get a perfect circle you can hold on to shift icon and create a circle so that the oval shape will be converted into a circle. As for the circle color, I am converting it into blue. So now as you can see, I am creating a normal ball below this where the ball is going to come in and jump action. So below as you can see in the ball layer, I am going to apply my onion skin option. So click on to the first button and here you can see this option called onion skin and the shortcut will be alt shift plus o. If it is in another version f7 will also work. So let me click on to this option onion skin. As soon as I click on to this option a green color highlighted layer will be appear towards the top and then dot towards the top of the icons will appear simultaneously. So let me copy paste this ball now. I am giving Ctrl C and I am going to the next keyframe and I am going to insert blank keyframe. As you can see the reference will be appeared and I am pasting the ball near that and with selection tool I am bringing it towards the top. So I am just going to repeat the same process again and again. I am going to my next layer, right click, insert blank keyframe and control V, I am pasting the same ball and with the reference of previous image I am placing it towards the top and as you can see I am in my free transform tool so however you want you can resize it. So I am going to repeat the same step again and again for all the other frames and below as you can see there is no background right so how much of your animations you are going to create go till that particular end and give insert keyframe. But when you do create an onion skin animation for that particular ball or particular object, do give insert blank keyframe and not insert keyframe. Only for the background you have to go for insert keyframe but the main object will be insert blank keyframe. So here as you can see I am repeating these steps again and again with the same process and I am expanding it with the help of transform tool and now insert blank keyframe again control V and bring the ball towards here and free transform you can convert it however you want.
so here as you can see we are into the final step with the same repeated process i have given insert blank keyframe so towards the top you can definitely see that there is an highlighted green shape which is nothing but in transparent onion skin which is getting applied so now the onion skin is done let me go to the number one and let me plus enter so as you can see the ball is moving fastly in order to control the speed maybe as in you have to slow down the speed of a ball what you can do is highlight the next frame from one to end and you can just push it towards a little so as you can see i'm highlighting the next frame and i'm just dragging it towards a bit so i'm just going to repeat the same process for all the keyframes which i have created so when I do bring the keyframes to one particular instance, you can see the reference balls which has been created towards the background, which is nothing but the onion keyframe is also called as a transparent layer or you can uh, take it as an example of a trace paper where the objects which you are creating with the help of a trace icon will automatically appear. So as you can see, I'm dragging each and every frame towards one particular bit so that the movement of ball will become slow and the timing of the animation will look pleasant to watch. So here you may check that the background will not appear because the background keyframe is one little 25. But wherever I'm going to drag this particular keyframe option is going above 40. So once you are done with the frame in the layer one ball, you can come to the background and you can click on to the 25 keyframe, the black color highlighter thing, and you can drag it towards the end of layer two. Let me show you that. So we are into the final three steps. I'm just going to drag the last few options now. So as you can see till 45, okay, I'm just placing the ball layer to till 45 timeline. And now as for the background, I'm just going to highlight the 25th one and I'm placing it towards 45. So the background will automatically appear. Now what we can do is you can see that the ball is moving slowly. And now we are done with the onion skin. You can come to the layer one and you can undo the onion skin now. So that as you can see, the jumping of ball will be slow and even the transform tool would have worked properly so that the oval shape will come and go in between where I have dragged it towards a bit, I'm going to reduce it towards a bit. So this is how we are going to use this particular option called onion skin. So we have inserted a layer for background and for the ball and we have given the option called onion skin and we have given insert blank keyframe and we have copy pasted the ball again and again and we have converted the shape with the help of free transform tool. That's how you can create this particular animation. You can use it in order to create a game or maybe whatever you want you can use this particular option for. So now we have come to end of today's vlog. In the upcoming vlogs, I will be teaching you about how to use Adobe Animate in a professional manner with all kind of sub animation option and all kind of other effects too. Hope you people found it interesting and educative too. If so, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet you in a next interesting vlog with the same software. Until then, take care.